There you go. You're welcome. And there you go. You didn't say what color you wanted. I said they have pink and brown. I love how this one said thank you and this one's just like, it's the wrong color. Like, what the heck? So we came to Starbucks. I got a, I tried to order a grande, which this is not, a white chocolate mocha with caramel drizzle and they said that they didn't have the caramel drizzle but they had a caramel sauce that they put in it. I don't really know. They gave me a venti and then I ordered a sandwich, which I've never had so hopefully it's good. But I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby today to get something for over the baby's bassinet and then I don't know maybe a couple of things to hang in our room I'm not really sure but they have 50% off their wall decor again so we're gonna do that today I don't even honestly think I want this ham that's on here to be honest or at least want to take one of the pieces off because I'm weird this thing is huge so I hope it's good It's pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna drink all of it though. Bryce is more than ready to get out of the car because Hobby Lobby and Starbucks are over an hour away from our house. Look at him, he's like, get me out, please. I found all the dinosaur stuff. I really like this, but I don't know if it's as big as what I was wanting. Is that cute, Liam? Yeah. The dinosaur on it? Yeah. What? <laughs> Do you think it's perfect for the new baby? What is that? Claw. It's a claw? Yeah. <laughs> this one's really cute too, but I don't know if it's supposed to be for a girl because it says babe. I'm not really sure, but that one's really cute too. Does anybody else ever wonder why Hobby Lobby has such like huge decor and their carts are the tiniest carts you could ever find? He's still eating on his cake pop. Why is it taking you so long to eat your cake pop? <laughs> Look. Oh my goodness. Hey, <laughs> Okay, so I would be lying if I said that that did not give me a bunch of anxiety. Their carts being so small made it to where Liam had to walk around the store and he wasn't really being bad. He was just kind of stressing me out because he kept like running around and stuff like that and wouldn't stay with me. So I kind of did rush through there, but I did get a few things, which they're in the back of the van. So I'll have to show them to you guys in a little bit. I got something that I don't know if I'm going to put it in Liam's room or Bryce's room, but I'm leaning more towards Liam's room. And then I got something to go over and I needed to correct myself because I said the baby's bassinet and you guys know his name now, but technically today when I'm filming this, that video has not gone up yet. So I keep getting confused, but Miles bassinet. So it's so weird to be able to say Miles in a video, but I don't know how big it's going to be. I wanted something real big so I could just put like one thing above the bassinet, but I really wanted to get something dinosaur because apparently I'm obsessed with dinosaurs with this child. So hopefully it just works. And then I found a little something for Josh and that might be it. Are you acting crazy? Why are you acting crazy? Oh, he's trying to buckle the seatbelt and he's struggling. I left this in the car. This is how much I've drank so far. Well, of course, it's definitely melted some because it's really warm outside today. We have to head home pretty quick too because it's 12.15 right now and I have a doctor's appointment at 2.30. And Josh's mom is going to come to our house because she's just going to sit with the boys until Josh gets home from work. Because the appointment's at 2.30 and Josh doesn't get off work until 3. So I was not taking both of the children in there with me. They're actually gonna be doing my first non-stress test today. So I'm gonna be hooked up to monitors and stuff and they're gonna do it for at least 20 minutes, they said. So there's just no way that I could have especially Bryce with me because he couldn't be like on me or anything because he would like mess up the monitors and stuff. So I'm trying to think of where I wanna get food. I know like I just, I literally just ate, but there's so many more options for lunch here than the town that I live in. And also the boys are probably hungry because they technically only had a snack from Starbucks. I just don't know. What did you ask me if they were going to do? Uh, get the baby out. No, they're not going to get the baby out today, but they're going to check on the baby and make sure he's doing okay. <laughs> Are you just ready for him to come out? Are you ready to meet him? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Bryce said yeah too. You ready to meet him, Bryce? Yeah. Yeah. How's baby brother? Yeah. 
That's sweet. Okay, so we are out of our appointment. Everything went good. They said for the non-stress test, what they're looking for is to see an acceleration in his heartbeat twice in 20 minutes. And she actually said that it happened for him like three times within the first 20 minutes. Like I didn't have to stay on it longer because they said if it takes an hour for them to see that, then I'll be on there for an hour. And she said that it can't be like two accelerations within 30 minutes. That doesn't count. It has to be 20 minutes. So, but he did really good for the first time. I don't know. I'm sure there will be some times where I have to just like sit in there forever but I was just sitting there and it's quiet and I was kid free so I didn't hate it or anything I just got kind of uncomfortable laying kind of just in the same position for a little while but it's fine everything also looked good on his ultrasound and things like that so I did end up calling my OB's office on Friday today is a Monday for reference I did end up trying to call up here because I started having like okay so for weeks now I've been having Braxton Hicks and it's just been like where I I can feel my stomach tighten up and then it kind of goes away just like a practice contraction you know I knew that it was Braxton Hicks but I had a couple of days in a row where it literally felt like I was on my period it felt like a constant dull ache in my lower back and my upper thighs and then one day when I was driving for like over an hour I noticed that it was like kind of like a period cramp would come and go like it came and go came and went like a contraction it wasn't just constant so it started freaking me out and I seriously thought that I was going into labor super early which is weird because my babies do like to stay in Bryce and Liam wanted to stay in for a long time but I just felt like this pregnancy has been so different so who knows like maybe like it would happen this time if it's gonna happen you know what I mean so I was really freaking out about that. I did call like labor and delivery here and they did say for me to get off of my feet and drink a whole bunch of water, maybe take a hot bath and see if any of that helps. And I had just gotten out of the bath. So then I, I told Josh what they said and he was like, go sit down, go sit down. And I was like, okay, I'm getting myself a glass of water, calm down. So I did all of those things and it did go away. So, and I do know that if you do things like that and they go away or if you change positions and they go away, that it's not like the real thing or anything but it was enough to freak me out just because it's never happened with the boys that that never happened with the boys I don't remember ever even feeling Braxton Braxton Hicks with Liam but I think I just didn't know what they were and then with Bryce I remember having them but it was just like just the tightening feeling like I told you nothing that felt crampy or anything but luckily that was only a couple of days ago I knew I was coming in today so I just was like as long as I can make them go away by drinking water and sitting down and stuff and I can still feel him moving. I'm just gonna wait till my appointment. And she did say that it's, you know, like, that's fine. I told her about it, everything's fine. But yeah, so that's the update on that. I have to go, well, I'm not going straight home because I have to pick up some drinks. The boys are out of things to drink and I think Josh needs some Sprite. And so I'm gonna grab those things while I'm out before I go home. Okay, so I just got home and I didn't end up getting that much stuff from Hobby Lobby this time. But this is what I went with to go over Miles' bassinet. And then I also got these little dinosaurs in case I feel like this is like too small. Maybe I can hang it like under it or something. I'm not really sure. And then I got this sign right here, which I think is going to go in Liam's room. It's gonna go in one of the boys rooms I'm just not really sure yet and then I saw this and I got it for Josh because he doesn't have like a place to stick his keys in his wallet and stuff like that which I wish this thing was bigger because his wallet and his keys alone will fill this up but I thought it was cute and it was not very much so that's literally all I got which I'm really glad that I didn't go crazy because the last time we went to Hobby Lobby we went super crazy in there. Also, I got a few more things off of the registry that you guys ordered. So this came from Xana, which is also the person that got me the gray and white swaddle that you guys saw in the last vlog. For some reason, these just came separately, but thank you so much. This is actually my favorite diaper rash cream to use. I used it, I'm using it right now on Bryce because he has a little rash going on. So I really love the A&D Prevent one. It's really good. And then my cousin, Laura, 
got me this nursing cover that is by We Sprout, and then this really cute little sound machine. I want to take it out so you guys can see it. And here's her little note. It says, I can't wait to cuddle sweet little Miles. And yeah, I'm going to take this out because I think it's really cute. Okay, so it's not put together. As you can see, it has little legs down there in the box that you're supposed to put on it. Or actually, when I read the reviews, it says you don't have to put them on there, but I want to because it makes it look really cute. So I'm just going to pop up a picture so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. But thank you, Laura. I'm really excited about this because it looks like it's a nice big cover and I really wanted one for whenever I'm in public nursing miles. I am hot. It is really hot outside today, but I can't wait to show you guys once I get everything set up, like his little stuff on the wall. It's going to go right here. As you can see, the wall's bare and his bassinet's down here. Once I get everything set up for how I want it to be whenever he's here, I will um, show you guys at the beginning of a vlog or something kind of how we have our room set up for him. My face is really red. <sighs> okay, so it has been a few days since the last clip that you guys just watched. I planned on finishing out that vlog the following day because I didn't feel like I had gotten enough footage yet. But that night we got really bad storms. We got like tornadoes and everything else. And everyone in our surrounding area, okay, lost power. We actually were without power for, I know over 30 hours for sure. So the next day we ended up going to my sister's house and staying the night there because they never lost power or anything. We also ended up, when we got back home, having to throw out everything that was in our refrigerator because it had obviously went bad. Luckily, we were able to keep a lot of our, or all of our freezer food because we have it in a stand-up, like, deep freezer, and we never opened it or anything, and it was fine. But yeah, we had to trash a bunch of food in our fridge, and I just did a grocery pickup today from Walmart and replaced some of it. I filmed that. That's going to go up after this vlog does. But yeah, so we weren't really home, and it was just chaotic, so this is the first time that I've picked the camera back up but I do think I'm just gonna end this vlog out here start fresh on a new vlog another day because we're a hot mess right now but I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog I apologize that it just ended abruptly but if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video bye guys yeah.